Well, it happens today, finally, but only in name. <laughs> the spring equinox arrives, the sun being directly over the equator, and we've got uh, that arrives and occurs at 1225 today when it will be spring, though actually Saturday certainly seem more like spring than today. We're seeing temperatures cool back off again, and actually we're headed into what's going to be uh, the latter part of the week is going to be rather cool, but we are going to warm back up again. Midweek we'll have another couple of days which will feel uh, like springtime, and it's only 93 days until we arrive at the summer solstice, so it's got to warm up sometime. You know that. It's got to warm up and stay warmed up. We had 65 on Saturday out at SeaTac, which was awfully nice. It was a beautiful day. Take a look at the uh, Doppler radar. You can see we've got a fairly weak front. It's rotating up out of a low off of California. A very familiar forecast that's going to be slowly moving through today, giving us some light rain off and on through a big chunk of the day. It'll gradually dry from the south with just a few leftover showers as that uh, front slowly works its way on out of here and dissipates uh, up over southern British Columbia. And you can see not constant. There's a few places where it might let up briefly, but generally just light rain. We're looking for less than about uh, one to two inch one point. <laughs> One tenth, one to one tenth to two tenths of an inch of rain out of this thing. It's hard to say on a Monday morning. Bellingham pretty quiet out there. Cloudy skies, occasional light rain up and down the sound. Not really uh, anything that's causing any major problems at this point. But at least keep in mind the fact the roadways will be a little on the wet side. Temperatures though pretty mild as you head out the door today, running in the mid 40s, which will be close to what our highs are going to be by the time we head into next weekend. There you go. Take a look at the Doppler radar this morning. Not Doppler radar, the satellite. You can see the front working its way northward, spinning up out of the low off California. It's going to give us a light rain today, and then it looks like that low is going to move on down to the south of us. We'll get a little bit of high pressure building it over us. That's going to cut off the showers by early tomorrow morning, clearing out the sunshine tomorrow. Look, like, look for sun on Wednesday. Temperatures pushing 60 on Wednesday, so a pretty nice day. And then as we head towards Thursday, it turns wet again, and then much cooler as we head towards the weekend with uh, the snow levels dropping down to about 1,000 to 1,500 feet as we head towards later Friday and Saturday. So for today, the Oh, pretty quiet up there in the mountains. We have overcast skies right now. No restrictions for any of the passes, so definitely very easy drying, though they will get a little bit of light snow for most of the passes later this morning and this afternoon. It'll probably stay rain for Snoqualmie Pass uh, through the day today and then shift over to a little bit of light snow tonight. The total snow out of this 4,000 feet and above, probably only about 2 to 4 inches, not a whole lot in it. Afternoon pass temperatures at the highway pass levels in the mid to upper 30s and our extended forecast. So today we'll see that rain turning to off and on showers, maybe a few late day sun breaks. Temperatures getting into the low 50s today. A morning shower then turning sunny tomorrow. Temperatures getting into the mid 50s, partly sunny. Upper 50s to near 60 degrees Wednesday, but steady rain turning to showers. Upper 40s on Thursday. Yes, chance of mixed rain and snow showers Friday and a few of those on Saturday with highs back into the mid to upper 40s. Partly sunny and a little warmer on Sunday with highs in the low 50s.